what is it about the autumn time that just makes us so excited and so willing to go out and set up our easels? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Martin, and it's really nice to be here with all of you this week. It's getting to be late September and autumn is coming soon. I would say that the color change is maybe about 20% at this point. And you can see right behind me, I've selected a location today that has just a little bit of that color change starting to happen. Those leaves and that big grouping of trees right here is just starting to change and we're starting to get that beautiful orange color coming through. I was driving through the Narrows and Rock Springs yesterday and it was one of those moments where you're just driving down the road and something piques your attention and you're immediately drawn to it. And so I made a mental note to come back today and create a painting of it. I'm parked out here on the side of the road I'm right by my friend Brian Bender's home farm. That's right behind me. Oh, here's Brian. Hey. What's up, Roger? Not much. What's up, Brian? Oh, just doing a little painting over here. I know. All right, we'll catch you guys later. Uh, that was my friends Brian and Roger. They're taking that skid steer over to Brian's dad's place, which is out here in Rock Springs. There's a lot of generational farming out here in Rock Springs, Wisconsin. I was brought up as a farmer as well, but made the switch into painting. And But I can't get rid of those farm roots, and so I love being out here in the countryside, making paintings of all these places that I grew up driving around making paintings of the landscape of the farms and the landscape that I grew up driving around in and so that's what I do. Well, the sun is out and I want to get moving on this thing, but I was wearing these red glasses and guess why? As I was observing my subject matter, I looked at it through these red glasses and what I decided on was that the road and the sheds were lighter than the trees behind them and they were lighter than the grass on the ground. I think it's easy to see that the sunlit sheds are lighter than the grass they're lighter than the trees. Obviously the roof on that little red shed to the left of the composition was the lightest thing that I saw. Then I mixed up the color of that weathered shed and the road. From there, I decided that the grass had to be stated as darker than the value and color of that shed. Uh, the trees were darker than that and uh, and those were kind of my major masses that I had to decide on. That's the idea, is that you start to observe, you start to squint your eyes, and you start to make decisions on the value and the colors of the subject matter on your painting. I'm going to try something a little bit different today. I'm actually going to start this painting using a palette knife. And the reason that I'm doing that is that I want thick and juicy color. And also beyond that, I just want to try something new.
I did use a slightly different technique than I normally use in that I went right in and I used the palette knife to indicate all of the major masses. Now normally I just use a brush, but in this case I wanted to use a palette knife. And I think that the thing that painting with a palette knife does is that it you cannot make wimpy marks with a palette knife and you can't make indecisive decisions when you're painting with a palette knife. It's just too blunt of a tool to do anything that is uh, indecisive and it kind of helps me to build up that color quickly on the canvas and then I could react to it and make some more decisions from there. A woman and her daughter just pulled over and uh, said that they wanted to get a photograph of me making the painting and that they love fall time and the best thing about fall time for them is driving around in the country and seeing the colors and they're on the way to an apple orchard now to enjoy the day and to take in some of the sights and scenes and tastes and feelings that autumn brings. You know, what is it about fall that we all love? I know I love the taste of those crisp apples. Corbin and I usually head out to Sky High and get several bags of apples. We love the fresh potatoes that are pulled right out of the ground during this time of the year. And of course, I love the color orange. What is it about these fall time colors that gets us so excited as landscape painters? What is it about the autumn time that just makes us so excited and so willing to go out and set up our easels and create artwork? For some of us, I suppose it's just the color alone is something that can drag us out of the house to create paintings. For some of us too, it's probably the last nice and decent days to get out before winter. Autumn time, it's the harvest time of year. My farmer friend Brian Bender and his helper Roger just stopped by to say hi to me earlier in the video. And they're out today working as usual. Brian plants corn over at my farm. And he's a, he actually came through with a chopper last weekend and he chopped all the corn down. It's gonna be made into some kind of silage and he's busy harvesting the rest of his corn. Right across the street, there's a cornfield that is partially harvested. And it's harvest season for me as well in a couple weeks we're gonna have the fall art tour out at my place i'll be showing 130 frame paintings this year and that's my big chance to show off everything that i got done during the year and so just like for the farmers this is a important time of year for me now after the fall art tour it's going to go into the five or six months of the year the deep freeze and that's such a renewing time for me as well in the same way that it's good for the crops when the fields are frozen over it's good for me as well because it's going to give me that break and it's going to give me the renewed energy that i need to get out in the field for the next year the 2022 painting season well, this video is going to draw to an end. I'm headed to the store to get some supplies for, for today's framing session. Thanks so much for sticking with me for this one. We'll be back out in the field for more painting soon. My mom's calling me. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>